Oh, hey guys, Dan here, DD Speed Shop, 67 Camaro. So this thing has been uh, together and apart. And that's where we're sitting. Now, I thought what I'd do today, unfortunately we're waiting on a few parts, which is kind of the story of my life. And we're waiting on both front parts and back parts, which is a bit of a bummer. So at the front, we're waiting on some, uh, some little plates to kind of make all these bushing holes whole again because they're all rotted out. Then we can clean this up and, and bolt it back on. Really, once it's painted, it's going back on pretty much for good. And then at the back, we're waiting on, we have outer wheel houses, but we need inners because I want to mini tub this thing. And then we're also waiting on full quarters. So unfortunately, we're kind of right in the middle of whatever. Now, that being said, this car came with a pile of parts. The reason, so I bought this car and a 68 um, in, I guess you could call it better shape. It had a bunch of metal put in, but then lost interest. And when I bought this thing, the deal was two cars, a bunch of parts, take it or leave it, one price, that was it. So I took it. Unfortunately, some parts are still not here. They're still out of town and a ways out of town. Um, it came with like cowl hoods, brand new cowl hoods. I think there was an extra chunk lid. There was all sorts of grill pieces. There's an interior bits and pieces, uh, wheels and tires. There's just stuff. I don't even know what all I bought. It was just take it and go. So I loaded it and put it in storage. And I haven't got it home yet, which is fine. Now, I did bring some of the big bits home or stuff I thought I was going to use. So it came with a pair of... Uh, skins, quarter skins, a good shape cowl. They always were out right there, so this one's in good shape. Floor pans, which as you know, we put in the last episode. Um, I'm pretty sure it was a deck clip, but I can't seem to find it. Doors, fenders, uh, outer tubs, the header panel, trunk drops, all sorts of stuff. Outside, I can show you, we have these fenders. Man, we got stuff everywhere, hang on. Is even light out still? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. We got the front clip out here, but it came with fenders. That's a cowl hood that was on it. Old door. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was the car fit pretty decent when we got it. Everything was together. The doors kind of open and close. The steering kind of worked. All that. We're going to just kind of mock this thing up. It's all going to come apart again, but I'd like to just see how it's going to fit. So um, I'm going to take stuff off the... Uh, Firewall, a few of you have noticed, yes, the firewall has been dented a little, but uh, you know what, that's patina. Now, so I have one door on. I got four brand new doors. I believe this is a 67 door because it has some structure here, which I assume is for the, the wing window. And I'm gonna just try and fit it. Honestly, it fits not too bad. Um, I also wanna hang on the quarter skins now, there is a bit of a science to putting on quarter panels and people will tell you all sorts of things, right and wrong, and I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. People always say you don't wanna do both quarters, don't cut them off, uh, don't cut both off at the same time, leave as much structure in the car as you can. I don't think there's a whole lot of structure in this one. It's kinda is what it is, and then on this side, Maybe it's got a little bit more. No, it's got nothing. So it's rotted all the way around, all the way up here. Um, I don't feel like it's doing a whole lot. So I'm gonna blindly cut some of this stuff out. I wanna hang those skins on, just so it kinda looks like a car. We'll see what the wheelhouses are gonna be. We might even start cutting those out. So there's gonna be a whole lot of like e-coat or whatever black steel on this car is the goal. <laughs> I mean, Deck lid, full quarters, doors, fenders, hood, header panel, the whole deal. Now to hang the fenders, obviously we have to put this back on. And even though it's kind of oblonged out and whatnot, we'll just zing it up in there, kind of make it close, put some new bushings in it. And that's just four bolts to take out when we're done. But we'll be able to kind of put the car together and make it look like something. Uh, if you guys have been around for a while or you know how I work, which is terrible, but I do like to see the car complete. A few people have noted, why don't you put on a rotisserie and all those things? You know, I'm not against that, 
But when a car goes on a rotisserie, I feel like then it becomes, well, it's a rotisserie <laughs> restoration. I don't want that. Uh, I want a driver that's gonna be fun. I'm fighting out the motor and transmission rear end in this thing, but I want just a driver car. It doesn't have to be perfect. I have enough cars that are perfect. And the nicer it is, I think the less likely I'm gonna wanna drive it. So we'll just put it all together. We'll put new brakes on it. It'll run and drive. We might even splurge, put an interior kit in this thing and carry on. I actually ran the numbers, the decode numbers. It is this factory, oh, I want to say tuxedo blue, but that's not it. Some sort of a blue, which, which it is. It was a six cylinder car. It was a console car, black deluxe interior with no headrests. What else did it say? Yeah, it was, it was blue top and bottom, no, uh, no vinyl top. And that was it, it was a pretty simple base model car. But it's neat and uh, I'm excited to work on it or continue working on it. So that's what we're gonna do. We've got that one door fit. Um, Maybe we'll go ahead and fit that quarter panel on just for fun. We do have to get that all kind of dialed together at some point. Maybe that'll be this video. I need to, I want to put the quarter on, the skin on, so I can line up to the door. And then I got to weld some structure in here because there's a, there ain't much. Also, we got to repair some sills. Eh, you know what? There's lots of work. I was, I was worried we we're waiting on parts. We're not going to be. We'll just start jamming stuff together. It's already late. We'll see how much we get done tonight. It'll probably be a big job for tomorrow. Cars on the table. It's Tamara. I knew nothing yesterday. Um, nothing more, I should say. Anywho, we're gonna start putting this thing together, and I figured I'd give you a quick little how's it for on these doors. So this, this is the door that came off it. I mean, you know, everything's fixable, but she's definitely, she definitely a little bit rough. Um, so we're gonna switch the um, hinges over. Now I had to fight with this one to get off. I don't know if I showed you guys or not. It had these stupid. They're like Phillips head screws, tapered, nightmare. So I just welded on that to them, got them out. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any. The amount of stuff that closes, closes between Christmas and New Year's is extremely frustrating, but such is life. Now in the door, it's got these like dogs, or whatever you want to call them in the back in there. They move all the way around. So you put the hinge on, they have all sorts of adjustment. I'm just using regular bolts for now. And then the car itself also has those. So you can move it any which way you want. So let's go ahead and put these hinges on real quick. And then, oh, 67, that's kind of cool. This is the other door, it's the same thing. I went down and looked, uh, 67 looks like they have these structure and 68 has nothing. So we're using 67 doors. Should be able to hang it and then on that door, we'll have to take apart the latch mechanism and whatnot. I don't think I put the handles on because you can still open it just with a with your finger. I don't know where we ended up yesterday. That's how out to lunch I am. But you can just kind of, you know what I mean? And it's fine. So we can do that and then start focusing on quarter panels. Then I would like to put the fenders on. I want this thing looking like a freaking car again for no reason other than just to please myself and make sure it's still square plan. So the door's hung kind of lightly. It works. It's a little stiff on the hinges. I took the latch of the other door. Now I spent the last 20 minutes, half hour cleaning it up and making it so it works. Of course it was all seized. So this will go in like that. And the handle's going to push on this. So this is of course all seized up, but it's pretty kind of simple little device. Get to latch it and then spring in there is a little unhappy but and that's that and then on the inside this will do the exact same thing so you'll be pulling your handle so we'll jam that in just holds three screws this here is your lock simple setup and this side over here probably goes to the where the key is so i'm glad this works these are they're probably not even cheap to buy anymore and probably they're all kind of unique to their own little deal so i have to Buy one from like OER, be a ripoff for like 100 bucks. So, spray a bunch of oil on it, put it in. Then we can latch the door and adjust it. So, door's on. Um, eh, it fits okay. It's a little high here, which means there's a gap on the bottom. Uh, but the problem is this little striker pin. So, I had to space it out big time. 
so it would fit. And it has to go down more, but there's no more down for it to have. So hopefully once we cut into the quarter, we can adjust that. It'll have like a captured nut, same thing, but uh, not bad. Now the other side fit better, but obviously the other side didn't have any structure <laughs> here whatsoever. So you can see our lines here don't match up. So the whole door has to go down. There's not much we can do about that. Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. Now, the nice thing we're going to do, just for my own amusement, I'm going to just randomly cut a bunch of this out. I took the back bumper off, so we're just going to zap that out. And then we can just hang the quarter panel on. And if you squint just right, you'll be able to see what it looks like. So, let's go ahead and get set up to do that right now. I don't even got to cut it. It's going to save me so much time in editing. Okay. Where are my glasses? So there you go, quarter panel off. I left it, there's still, uh, if in here somewhere, uh, is where they joined it. Uh, you know, they did a decent job. Whoever body worked this was, uh, was pretty good. Um, so that's our outer wheelhouse. It's finished. We probably could just replace it, but like I said, we're gonna go all the way in. It is a little crunchy in there, and all the way down here, it's had yeah, ugliness, holding back the rocker. Down here's not terrible, we can fix that. Anyways, this is the piece I'm talking about. So you can see it's like a captured nut deal. And what we could probably do, because it has to drop down more, is just trim some of this out and it'll fall down because there is space everywhere else. So I think I'll probably just loosen that. And uh, this, you probably can't really get in there any other way. So now's the time to adjust and we can uh, make the door fit. Now, I guess the other thing we have to kind of put into perspective is is this even right because this has been added on so this section here could be correct but the panel was joined here so let's say they cut that off they could have dropped it down actually in this body line maybe that nah, but then this would have to be different so yeah i assume we'll just line the top of the door up because i think that's factory metal so if we get the top of the door lined up full fetch lamp down there line up down there and then uh, the new panel will kind of fit so i'm going to get in there real quick to start doing some messing around see what we can accomplish right quick and uh then we're just literally gonna put the panel on top maybe a couple self tappers so we feel like we've accomplished something So we drop that little, you know, striker post deal down. I guess I should give it a bit more of a... Not bad. Not bad. I actually could drop just a hair more, which you do have some more adjustability down. So that's, that's pretty good. And I might have to go forward a little bit. That's all adjustment in the front. Now, let's just go ahead. What the... Stupid camera. There we go. Let's make this thing look like a car in about three seconds. Again, this is basically useless, but for my own enjoyment. And you guys are along for that. Well, this thing doesn't even go all the way up to the top. Just. Eh? Give her 
brush waxy. All I have is these stupid self tappers from Murr, which were at a garage sale, Phillips head. Come on, where's the eight millimeter deals? 516, sorry. America. Not bad. Not bad. We're still close? Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah. Now, at a glance, we got ourselves a pretty badass hot rod. Wow, we got to drop the back end down big time. It's got some shackles on it, but there we have it. Not terrible. Now, uh, I'm fighting what I should do with this deck, but I actually don't have one. I thought I did, so buy one or live with it. This side, same deal. I'll probably just blindly cut around. This door fits way better, but again, there's the whole thing is just cattywampus. But we'll go ahead and screw a quarter panel on that. And then I'm going to come back, show you everything, I'll wipe it all down, I'll take a break, clean up a little bit, have something to eat, and then we'll stab that thing on and see how the fenders all fit. I do have one broken bolt in here, which I do got to get to at some point, but it is very frustrating. So I gave up on it and put the door on. Genius. But uh, obviously everything fits pretty good. I mean, the skin is rough, but it fits around the back, fits around the top. And it gives the idea it's not completely cattywampus. The wheel is centered, so the car's not twisted, and that's all we really care about. Get that taken care of, and then uh, I think we'll weld up the rockers and call it a day. There we have it. A quick, ugly wipe down, and it comes to the car. I know it's all just sitting on there, but this does give you the vision. And sometimes you gotta work real hard, take it all apart, and just take a minute for yourself, and realize, yeah, it's still a pretty cool freaking car. It's kind of got, uh, Challenger vibes. Anyway, lunchtime. We'll clean up a little bit, slap the subframe back under it, uh, drop that down, and hopefully we'll see if we can fit that. Core supports miscellaneous. So I do have that. We got to get some miscellaneous kind of. I got some all thread. We can just run the, hold the core support down and see how the fenders are going to fit, and hopefully they'll be good. I think I need fender extensions. I don't know if I have any. And yeah, just start kind of. Piecing her all together. Then once that's done, it'll be a roller again. I'll jack it up and we'll do a little bit of rocker rust, which is actually pretty minimal. Uh, I might take core panels off, but they are a quick release with two self tappers. And like we have ourselves a freaking car. Pretty excited. See you guys shortly. So I worked away a little bit. I put the subframe back on. I gotta say, it is not, <laughs> it's not great. So all the washers were wore out. I mean, we only have one of the four holes that would actually kind of hold the rubber. They, the rubbers are pulling through. So we put it all together. I actually, this one here, I just put some all thread rod through, clamped it so it's far from road ready, but you know what? It is what it is. We got those, all the pieces coming. And uh, then up here, same thing. I just put some bolts in to hold the cowl. So this cowl's in decent shape, other than the rest is right here. What a weird spot. But uh, we have other cowls, we can cut that out and make something work. All sorts of little tiny projects, but for right now, oh, and I found a set of inner fenders a guy has locally that are powder coated black, so that's perfect. All we have to do now is, well, all we have to do, I wanna put the fenders on, hang those real quick, and see, just make sure everything kinda lines up a little bit. I do gotta, on the other side, this uh, little tab here is bust. So I'm gonna have to uh, take that off while a little nut on there. So it's happy. And then just kind of fit some fenders on. I think, yeah, most of the bolts I left stored properly. And nothing's permanent. We also have to take this all off. I'll probably paint in there black or whatever. And uh, I'll show you how the subframe goes on when I do, I guess like the subframe refresh, or we wanna call it, <clears throat> where we weld it all up. We'll paint it black. We'll slide it back in, then we'll kind of go up. But, at the end of the day, all four bolts lined up. So wherever we welded those two things were golden and uh, there's enough slop that everything will be just just fine. So yeah, so hopefully those show up in the next couple of days. Cause that'd be nice to just get that on, bolt it up, firewall black, clean everything there and kind of paint the back section of the frame black. And then when we decide what we're gonna do with the front suspension, we can wire wheel paint and go from there. Cause the fenders only be held on with just a couple of bolts. It'd be nothing to rip the front clip off, but it looks cool. 
and sometimes that is all you need for a little bit of motivation. Now, set up the GoPro on the stand, slap this stuff on here. Danny had made appetizers for dinner. That's always a problem, but I'm gonna eat appetizers for dinner and see if I get back out here. I would like to finish off the sills, clean the car up, make it look like something, and uh, I got a little bit of work doing the tow truck. Got to rewire up the hydraulic pump because everybody and their dog let me know I did it wrong. And uh, helper springs. I got some helper springs. I'd like to get that taken care of, but not really an interesting video. So I just want to get that taken care of myself if I can. And uh, look at my Camaro. Well, I tried to take out some broken bolts and uh, made it worse as per usual. So good job for another day. Because it doesn't really affect anything here. Um, just set this in. How we go? Oh yeah, there we go. Um, I have a bunch of miscellaneous shims. These are like front end shims. They're kind of big and bulky, but they'll do what we need to do for today. hitting something what the let's just have to man these like tri five Chevrolets don't have all these highfalutin problems get that started it's one and I got a couple just regular belts start the front end here just to kind of hold it oh man is this is correct it pushes it out there everything's kind of loose so we got a lot of a lot of wiggle room here okay got that started so i only need two washers not three for two bolts this one may need a impact what does that look like eh, it's kind of lined up so we got a bolt in there and it's got to move ahead somehow but it's really jammered jammered okay let's see what we can do here with the proper tool of course oh there we go just need there wasn't too bad. The door has to come out, which is probably okay. And the fender has to go up and in, but it gives us a general idea of what it's going to do. Yeah, the whole fender has to rock up and in, which is kind of going to be a little complicated. I'll try the other side, maybe it fits better, right? If one side gives you problems, do the, oh, and this side has like literally no mounting hardware. <laughs> uh, dang it. Yeah, this side seems to always fit better. The side is completely rot rotted with no structure, who'd have thought? And there is mount right there. Oh, I guess I could do that too, that'll bring it back. There's, so there's, uh, Kind of three main bolts there's a one that goes in the, this way in the firewall one that goes down and one that goes in through the door and that's where it's going to get a lot of its strength and you, as you can see it's all bolted together this becomes bolted together these subframe cars you can't just start peeling fenders and stuff like that off because they will fold into little bits that's pretty good Okay, well, I'll just mess around with this a little, and then I'll grab that header panel. Oh, this side fits way better. The core support's shifted. Put the header panel in, and then, I mean, uh, we could set the hood on it if we wanted to. There was a fiberglass hood somewhere, but I don't remember where I put it. That would be the best for screwing around, because it wouldn't weigh nothing. And that one fender's jacked. Put this is way better. Oh, it looks cool though. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Okay, I'm gonna mess with this fender a little, see what it's caught on, and uh, we may have to do some adjusting of the door. Again, the door's 
because they can go up, down, tilt, and they can do this, depending on what you have to mess with. So that's what I want to play with right now. We can do it after, but it's fun, and I like that I have a Camaro. Va, va, boom, it looks good. So I play with the fenders a little bit. They have to tilt up, which that's the adjustment in there, and there's some at the bottom. The other side, we got to drill and weld in some new nuts, unfortunately, but eh, it's not too bad. This, this fender doesn't fit near as good as the other one, but not too shabby. The header panel, mint, a bunch of used parts that you can't really go wrong. So that's what I'm doing for right now. I'm going to go inside, have something to eat. Uh, I'm going to come outside, clean up a bunch. We'll get the wa uh, rockers all welded up. And then from like the outside look, it'll be kind of like a rust-free car. You know, it's not pissing off the neighbors and this sits outside. People are just jealous of it. I'm really starting to fall in love with this thing. And, uh, yeah, oh, while we're at it. So now, I don't know if I've asked or not before, we got to decide drive line and, and all that sort of stuff. So you guys can let me know some ideas in the comments. I mean, I go back and forth just having like a nice driver. You know, not a beater, but just a driver quality you know, car, which is fine. And that all kind of goes down to the brakes and all that sort of stuff as well. Like, do we just put, do we just rebuild the front end? Which is probably what I should do. Just cheap and easy. Put a disc brake kit on it and then be done with it. And then just rebuild whatever back brakes are either in this diff or another diff that I have. And put it together and then just small block, maybe a four speed and have like a bomb around car. It's, which, I know a lot of you guys are going to hate this because you're going to be like restore it proper and all those things are paint nice and all that. And we may actually paint this one. I really do like the blue. I'm not going to lie. The idea of a blue with a little stripe around the front and a cowl hood kind of does it for me. Um, you know, amateur-ish amateur -ish paint job quality and all that. But uh, the panels are roughly straight. We'll just have to kind of block them out. But you don't see just drive around Camaros. They're always mint. I, I haven't seen a ratty Camaro and I don't even know how long. Maybe on Power Tour we saw one, but uh, they just have like a daily driver regular Camaro. It's kind of neat. And then the only other thing, drop spindles and uh, do we lower them back too? Those are the only questions I have. But let's think about that. We'll like, go we'll have some snacks and we'll uh, be back and do a little bit of welding. So people keep commenting that this light hanging down uh, drives them crazy. Anyway, we got the uh, Camaro up in the air. It dragged the hoist over. We cleaned up a little bit in here. Ooh, uh, um, I pulled out this sill from the snowbank. Came with it. Now the situation is, ah, uh, this panel's okay. It definitely feels like this is quite a bit thicker than that material. And it's weird how it rotted. Underneath is it like really nice. This bottom piece is really nice. But this little section right here is no bueno. And I don't know. It would be easier just to cut the whole thing out and then just kind of seam weld it and then, you know, spot weld it. But I feel like this is going to be way sturdier. Gentle. Than this. Like, this is pretty chance, man. So, and I mean, again, these, uh, the sills are, like, supportive. And I've seen those guys, they'll take those out, put bars in it and all that. We're, we are going to put subframe connectors on eventually. And a subframe connector will just join the back of the subframe. I don't know if it bolts on the mount or just bolts on there or, or probably just weld it, let's be honest. And it just will run across to where I lifted it. And this is, like, the leaf spring kind of hanger or right beside it, I guess where the frame kind of starts. So it just joins it and it'll make it like a, like a full frame kind of car deal. So we'll probably do that, but uh, so maybe, maybe that'll take up the strength we're gonna lose by cutting some of the subframe or the, uh, the sill out. But I mean, in all reality, if I just cut like a box out and then welded that in, it would be more body work and more welding but it would retain as much of the factory material as possible and the nice little seam and all that at the bottom, which is all original, which I do kind of like. So I think I might do that, which may seem like I'm being lazy and cheating a little bit, but I am a believer, well, I'll catch 22, keep as much of the factory steel as you possibly can. I mean, they did it right from the factory. Um, 
But on the flip side, it's what is less body work. And this will be more body work, but it will be structurally sound more. So I think what we're gonna do is just start blindly cutting and see what it's like in there. Cause I mean, like it's got some junk in there, but I do, I mean, it does seem sturdy the whole way back. It doesn't seem like it's completely coated in filler, but the very least this section is gonna come out, that's where it rotted. So again, probably what happened is it filled up with sand and stuff like that, and then that's where all the moisture got, so it rotted it out. But yeah. Well, let's get the camera set up, start blazing. That's where we end up. Okay, so, slight change of plans. We cut the little window out, I got all the, oh well, a lot of the dirt out. So it happens. Um, this metal, just like a rotten piece, like, look at the thickness of this versus the junk of that. So, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna use this panel and we're gonna just, you know, section a piece in on the top bend run down the side and then I'll cut it somewhere underneath. This is just kind of a window we've opened up. We'll cut a patch out of that and just weld it in. And then uh, if we seam it around the edge, it'll be pretty easy to clean up with a small amount of filler, right? And then again, we'll seam it down here, which is pretty sturdy. So I think it'll hold its shape pretty good. And then we shimmo it with filler. We're gonna block it out real easy. And not to mention this actually just has like rocker guard on it or, you know, whatever. No one's ever gonna see it. It's on the underside of the car. Now back here, I've had a change of heart. So it's, I mean, this, this is the worst, this is the worst section of the car. It's all rotten. So this piece kind of falls down and it breaks the rocker in half. So you see how deep it is here. You know, here it stops. And then it actually goes all the way through. So the backside is kind of rotted as well. And that is where the leaf spring hanger is now there's the frame there and this little section and all that and you know it's not I mean, it's crusty don't get me wrong um but that all has to kind of come apart anyway because we're taking the wheel tub out i have to repair in here so i think this is going to be a bit of a a bear and again this is where it picks up the suspension so if we take that all apart we could brace it weld it do whatever we have to do as i recall this is literally held in with like speed clips into the floor. Um, I think on my Nova, I had the same thing. And I just drilled holes in the floor itself and uh, put nuts and bolts in it. That just seemed like a better idea than like a speed clip. You know, like those ones that like a fender clip that slides over. That's what literally three of those hold in the front uh, shack or uh, perch, I guess I would call it. That doesn't really sit well with me. Not that we're gonna beat the hell out of it. And I mean, whatever, it, it is what it is, overthinking it. but. At this point, all this metal's gonna have to kind of come out. It's all flat, kind of bends. A lot of it's gonna be hidden. But while we're in there, we might as well, you know, gussy it up and uh, make it nice and sturdy. So I'm just gonna leave that open. There's no point capping this off now, because I think a lot of this will probably just come right out. And I might see if uh, another one of these panels is available, or, I mean, let's be honest, it's pretty simple to break this, uh, like bend it in the brake, or, you know, cut it out, re, uh, remake it and put it back in with some sturdier steel but uh, that's the plan so we get that welded up right quick i think there's one little patch on the other side and uh, i think we're basically done i mean <laughs> it's falling together we also gotta see what the the quarter panel has we're waiting on parts what can i say we're using what we have but we're out of stuff
Okay, well there's the panel kind of half in. I didn't weld the bottom because I didn't want to be under it. I actually set myself on fire and this is my like favorite garage sweater. So <sighs> unfortunately she's seen better days. Um, the multicolored plaid, who thought, eh? Uh, brings up my eyes. This panel is garbage. It doesn't fit for shit. Um, after fun further inspection, like what is that? That line lines up and then this one is way out. Aftermarket garbage. Story of my life. But uh, whatever. We got her in there. It, uh, like I said, it'll be a seam around the edges easy and then down at the bottom. I'll uh, put on my leathers and weld that up. I'll do the other side. I then painted the hood flat black. I only had a half a can, so it's definitely going to bleed through, but on camera, it'll look just perfect. So what I'm going to do now, we'll put the quarter back on, a couple screws, put the door back on, drop this thing down, let this get a little black on it. We'll do a little walk around. I'll tell you my future plans for this hot rod. Eh, that's a pretty good looking car. Now I know these things are everywhere and it's a Camaro, it's nothing too special, but I never had one. I really dig it, how it looks. And this right here is how you want it if you're gonna sell it. It makes it look like it's way further together than it really is and hides all the BS in the back. So now we're playing the waiting game. I ordered some stuff through Scummit and they did not ship it on time, which is very frustrating. So we're behind on that. We're waiting on wheel tubs, quarter panels. Actually today I pulled the trigger on a deck lid. It was $198 and it was 250 if it was drilled for a, for a little spoiler type deal. And I don't think I want the spoiler, we'll see. They're the same deck lid, just needs some drills. But I thought $50 to drill some holes was ridiculous. Anyway, uh, we're still waiting. I just painted that hood flat black so it looks like something. Um, if this thing goes outside, I think someone driving by won't be offended by this. If you're offended by this, you're what's wrong with the world. So we got that and I, I'm fighting out right now is a good place to kind of stop. We'll see what happens tomorrow. If parts start showing up, it'll be sweet. But this is part of my life when I, you, know, you kind of work, work, work and I run out of parts. It's hard to keep going. I have ignored that 57 hardtop. I might get back to that. I don't even know where I left off on that thing. And that garage just turned into a bit of a storage spot. Good God, this car looks good. Oh, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> I love it. Um, so yeah, we have to decide what we're gonna do. I talked to the guys today who actually get my glass from, um, and they do brakes and suspension and all that. So I ordered the steering off Rock Auto. So we got tie rods coming adjusters, also get idler arm maybe. Yeah, I got some stuff like that. And then I think I'm gonna go with tubular control arms simply because they're cheaper than rebuilding the factory stuff. And the bottom, I don't know if I showed, the bottom control arms have both been kind of beat. They're all folded over, so we'll do that. We can put those with the factory springs. Uh, they take a factory shock absorber and they will lower the car, I think an inch and a half or two, which is the same setup I have on my Nova. And it, it worked, I mean, I know there's no motor in it, but it does sit quite high. Like to hunker it down a little. Um, so we're gonna have that coming. So we're gonna do power disc, front discs, like a Tri-5 kind of deal. I put on a lot of stuff. Tuber control arms. We'll have all new suspension or all new steering on it. So the front end will be brand new once that all arrives. But again, everything's kind of a couple of weeks, a week here, a week there, and we can go. So I think I might build up the inventory of parts, let this sit for a little bit, and then just go hard on it. We've ordered stuff for the Bricklin, some glass and a few hard to find items. I gotta check the brakes on that. I guess there's a few different types. So we have to order what do we need for that to get that one going. And that 57, I don't even know where I left it. It looks like a car I did have to order glass or did order glass. I forget what happened there, but I need a windshield for it. But at this point, I think all the welding is done on that, the carpet's in. So we have to put the glass and regulators and all those things And Actually, that'll be kind of a fun car to get to. It is acting as a storage unit right now, so I gotta clean it all up, but uh, We'll do a few 57 hardtop videos for waiting parts for this. Anyways, that's my spiel. That's where we're at. Um, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. It's been a pile of work, but it will be a cool car when it's done. And well, it's a cool car right now, but it'll be really cool when I get a little further along. Thanks for watching. Comment below, like the video, all those things. And I will see you on the next video. Because if I'm from the camera on, there's nothing there. See you later.